Thank you, Alexandra, for that kind introduction. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Dobri vechir. Petro's going to speak to you in French tonight, too. <laughs> Let me start by saying what a pleasure it is for me to be here tonight with you all. I want to thank Paul and Alexandra for their invitation and for all the incredible work they do for the community. It's great to be here with you both. And of course, I'd like to recognize a very special friend here tonight. Please join me in once again giving a warm round of applause to the President of Ukraine, my friend Petro Poroshenko, and his lovely wife, Marina. We are delighted that you both could join us to celebrate Team Ukraine's debut at the Invictus Games. We're incredibly proud to be hosting this year's Invictus Games for a number of reasons. For starters, the Invictus Games is an amazing way for our wounded, injured, and sick service personnel to compete at the international level. And it's a chance for the rest of us to not only admire their talent, but their strength of character. As one of your athletes, Pavlo Mamontov, so eloquently put it, the Invictus Games are not only about the competition, but about the friendship between veterans and soldiers who share a similar destiny. En fin de semaine, les projecteurs seront tournés sur ceux dont le courage, la détermination et la passion sont une source d'inspiration pour nous tous. Pendant que nous les regarderons s'affronter pour une place sur le podium, nous penserons également aux hommes et aux femmes qui continuent de répondre à l'appel du service à chaque jour. Ils mettent leur vie, leur vie en danger pour leur pays. They travel to some of the most dangerous places on earth to fight for the values and principles we hold sacred, to fight for peace, democracy, equality, justice, and liberty. These are the very principles Canadian and Ukrainian soldiers are defending in eastern Ukraine. We can't forget the debt of gratitude we owe to the women and men who have served their country with courage and to their families. Last year, I traveled to Ukraine and met with some of our Canadian Armed Forces personnel serving as part of Operation Unifier. I had the privilege to witness the incredible work they've been doing with our Ukrainian allies and friends. And as we gather here tonight, my thoughts are with them and their loved ones. I'm reminded of the sacrifices they have made and continue to make to make our world a better place. They represent the very best of what it means to love, honor, and serve one's country so please join me in thanking all men and women of the armed forces and their families for their service. Since the beginning of our mandate, our government has demonstrated its commitment to the Ukrainian people, taking real, meaningful steps to strengthen the relationship between our two countries. Thanks to the hard work of Ministers Freeland and Sajjan, Canada and Ukraine have grown even closer, especially when it comes to trade and defence. Together, we signed the Canada-Ukraine Free Trade Agreement. We've increased our support to the OSCE Special Monitoring Mission in Eastern Ukraine and deployed additional police officers to assist with police reforms. Nos deux pays partagent des valeurs communes, une amitié de longue date et des ambitions pour l'avenir de nos citoyens. Je suis convaincu que le Canada restera un partenaire dévoué et un ami loyal au moment où nous poursuivons conjointement notre travail en vue de donner suite à nos priorités communes pour les générations à venir. Once again, thank you for having us here tonight. I hope to see you cheering on all of our athletes at the Invictus Games this weekend. 
Slava Ukrainini, Slava Canadi. Merci beaucoup tout le monde.